Anything new? Anything new. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> going to the Olympics. <laughs> really? Yeah. I did not know. That's good, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We good? So when do you leave? Uh, after tomorrow's match. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's gonna be a quick turnaround. So once I once I once we finish playing, I'll have to go straight to the airport. And do you go from here to New York to Paris, or where do you go? Uh, straight to Paris. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be kind of fun. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a long flight, but I'll get lots of sleep. <laughs> So what comes with the invitation to the Olympic team? Was it an email? What is, do you get a big package in the mail? What do you get? Uh, a nice call from Marco, the coach. Mm -hmm. um, he called me the other day um, just congratulating me, um, um, which was nice. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was a call from him, and, uh, and, yeah. And a question I didn't ask you the other day. What does it mean to represent your country? Yeah. What does it mean personally to you? Um, I mean, it means a lot. I mean, it's it's a huge honor. Any time that I can put on that jersey to represent my country, um, obviously at the biggest stage, it means a lot more. Um, and to know that I'm representing um, so much more than just my country, but also my family back home, you know, the city of Atlanta. Um, so it, it means so much. Um, and. I'm excited for it all. Yeah. Is there something particularly exciting about the Olympics that you're looking forward to? Because it's kind of a different mm -hmm. soccer experience. That yeah. Um, to be honest, not really. I think it's just the whole, the overall experience, just with like just between all the games and um, maybe seeing different athletes, um, and uh, and just being in Paris. Like I, I think it's going to be a cool, cool time for us. Um, and so I, I really can't really pinpoint one, one thing, but I think it's just an overall I was, was going to ask, I don't know if you know the answer to this question, but, like, will you be in, like, the Olympic Village kind of participating with all, of like, the track and field people, like, all that stuff? We'll be outside of the village um, just due to, like, the all the rules that you have to go by um, to be in the village, but we'll be outside of the village. Okay. Yeah. You've kind of known for a while that this was a pretty strong possibility, but how did it feel when you finally got the, the official call? A um, little bit of a relief to know that like I'm going, um, but um, just just an honor to be honest. Um, like I said, it, it means so much to represent my country, um, and like I mean to go to the Olympics, it's it's a dream. Um, you know, I remember when I was younger, I could you know think of. You know, watching the the opening ceremonies and you know seeing all these you know athletes from different countries you know representing their countries. So for me to go do that, um, it, it means a lot. So yeah. who was your first call to after you got that call? My first call. Um, I, I didn't I didn't call them, but I, I told my parents. Yeah, they they were super excited. Um, yeah. Why was it a sense of relief? You said. Um. I think just because, I mean, the amount of quality that there is um, in the U.S., especially um, in my position, there's a lot out there. Um, and so everyone's competing for for this spot to go to the Olympics. Um, you know, I, I was going, I, fortunately, I, I went to a, a lot of the camps, but to me that didn't mean, any, mean anything. Um, at the end of the day, it's the coach's decision. Um, so I had to work extremely hard, um, and you know, when I finally got that call, it just it felt good. So, what's What's it your... been like, kind of watching the men's team throughout Copa and kind of everything that's been going on outside of the actual games? Yeah, um, I mean, it, I mean, it's it sucks to see that you know they're they're now out of the Copa America, but um, I mean, we went to the game here. Um, you know, it's 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 nice to see some of the guys that I know. Um, to kind of catch up with them um, while they were here training, um, but yeah. So, what's your relationship like with John Tolkien? You, know, you guys are in the same position, battling for time, but you can also play on the field together. Yeah. Um, no, we have a super strong connection. Um, I mean, John Tolkien, he's a great guy, um, great leader, great guy to be on the field with. Um, and I mean, yeah, we we may be competing for the same spot, but we're always, you know. Um, you know, helping each other. He's always helping me. Um, so, you know, we'll use each other in the best ways that we can. So, 
in a tournament like this, what are the, the most important things going into it for the team to have success and get out of the group? Um, I mean, I think the first one that that's, that's huge is the belief. Um, I think, you know, our opening game is against France, and they're, um, they're probably one of the top contenders, you know. So it, it's going to be a tough game, but I think just to have that belief that, you know, we're also a very good team and we can also compete with anyone out there. So, yeah. Caleb, with the recent performance of the U.S. team and you get the World Cup in two years, as a country, how important is this performance just to kind of put the U.S. back on the map and can be competitive? Yeah, uh, very important. I think... Um, I think collectively as a as a as a team, I mean, there's so many goals that we have for us, but we want to win a we want to win a medal. Um, that's kind of a goal that um, I mean I have set for myself, and then I think as a team we've set um, collectively. So I think you know we'll go out there and we'll show to the world that you know we're capable of playing with anyone. Um, yeah. There are a couple of. Atlanta area natives going into the Olympics, soccer as well. I mean, Walker Zimmerman will go and uh, Emily Sonnet on the women's side. I, do you know them? How well do you know both of them? And is that how cool is that to have, you know, someone who you're familiar with, at least from the area, to be in Paris with you while you're there? Yeah. Um, no, it's super cool to have some other Georgia natives um, to go to the Olympics. Um, I mean, I know Walker a little bit. I've been to a, a couple camps with him now. Um, great guy. Um, but um, like I said, it's super cool to, to know that it's not just me, you know, coming from Georgia to represent their country. Um, but I'm sure uh, I'm sure the, the whole state of Georgia is proud and the whole city of Atlanta is proud too. Have you been to France before? Anywhere like Paris or Strasbourg? Uh, I haven't been to <laughs> I haven't been to Paris before. Um, went to France for a few days. We had a camp there. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was only a short amount of time. Yeah, that's all. You're good friends with Noah. He seemed like he was pretty hyped when he mm-hmm. got in. What was the kind of the, the reaction from the family and the friends back home? Yeah. Um, like I said, parents were super excited. Uh, I didn't see them when I told them, but I texted them um, just by all the excla- exclamation marks and <laughs> the, the uses of words. They, were, they seemed to be very proud. Um, and same with my teammates, um, just congr- congr- congratulating me. Um, so, um, I know they're super excited for me. You mentioned watching the Olympics, the kind of uh, opening ceremonies and stuff like that as a kid. Is there anything else on your bucket list that you're kind of like, that's what I'm really looking forward mm-hmm. to? Um, I think, I mean, I think the biggest one is winning a medal. <laughs> um, but also, I think just getting on the field um, and and um, I mean, and just showing everyone what I have, you know. Um, I, like I said, it's going to be a challenge out there, but you know, playing at the biggest stage is, um, you know, what we all dream of, and um, you know, I'm ready to face that. To face that. So. The Olympic, going to the Olympics, the whole experience is unique in the mm-hmm. sports world. You don't come across anything like this mm-hmm. in any other competition. How are you going to try to find a balance between focusing on the job you're there to do? And soaking up just the atmosphere and, and the culture and, and all the things that make it unique. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's it's important to balance both parts of you know what you said. I think you know, um, creating as many memories as you can, having fun, enjoying it, but then also being locked in, being ready to go. Um, and so I think it's you know going there to experience both parts and to be balanced um, and so I'm going to make sure that you know I stay present in every second of it um, and, to, and to enjoy every second of it um, you know you know I've, I'm always getting um, you know Dax and Brad will always talk to me about their experience and mm-hmm. tell me how fun it was for them um, so I'm looking to do the same thing. And like photo diary, video diaries, what, what is your plan to try to remember this? Oh yeah, there's going to be lots of photos taken. <laughs> lots of photos, videos, all of it, yeah. And you've got a phone charger, right? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you seen the, uh, the opening ceremony outfits? Uh, I have. I think? saw them. Uh, big fan. Okay. <laughs> right. I like yeah, I, I heard a lot of people weren't 
fans of it, but um, I dig them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Do you get one even if you're not walking? Do you get the? I hope so. <laughs> 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 I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. We'll how see. much has, has your journey from here, starting with the U12s? How much has it helped you get to this moment? Um. I mean, I always, I always like to give credit to the ones that that have helped me get here, especially the coaches. Um, a big one is Matt Lowry and Rob. Um, I've talked about it before, but th those two have definitely made the transition a lot easier. Um, and especially when I get up to here, they just make me feel so comfortable um, and free to play. So um, it's been a very um, enjoyable journey, very tough, very hardworking journey, but um, you know, those are the ones that kind of have made it um, easier along with you know, my family and friends that have always supported me. Yeah. Could this be the last time we speak to you? Uh, I, I, I can't really, I don't know really to <laughs> say that, but um, I will say. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.